you like to stay up to date with the latest coronavirus statistic of your country or other regions? In this video I'm going to show you how you can use PowerShell and ScriptRunner to make this information available through a ScriptRunner action for you, your helpdesk team or your end users. First we take a look at the functionality of the ScriptRunner action. In step 2 I show you how you can configure this in your own ScriptRunner environment. Okay, let's start. Here we are in the ScriptRunner Delegate app and I'm clicking on the tile Latest Corona Statistic. Now I can select if I would like to get the latest statistic from one or multiple countries. With the Show All selection, all available information from all countries is going to be displayed. I select show all and run the action. As a result, I see the list of all countries and their latest Corona statistics. When I click on HTML result in the lower left corner, I get the information of the HTML file, which I can then of course store wherever I like. Now I switch on the parameter show global totals and run the action again. The report now shows the global figures additional to the selected countries. How can you configure this action in your ScriptRunner environment? For this action we use the COVID-19 data API which is available at rapidapi.com. Once you're registered, create a new app and use the API key for testing the COVID-19 data API. You find the API in the API marketplace. Here you can test your API key. Save your API key so you can use it in our script runner action. In order to create the script runner action, we need, of course, a PowerShell script. Go to github.com slash scriptrunner, action packs, automation booster, and copy the script get COVID data PS1 to your scriptrunner server. Now open the scriptrunner admin app, go to the scripts and commandlet section, and search for get COVID data. Select the script and click on New Action. Now we choose where we want to run that action. In this case we are going to execute this on the local machine. We activate the library script preload action and select the library script reports library. In the next step, we enter the rapid API key that we generated at rapidapi.com and click OK. OK, now we switch to actions and search for the name of our newly created action. For security reasons, of course, it makes sense to hide the Rapid API key when you're going to delegate this action to people in help desk or your end users. So we select hide parameter from input form and click OK. Now we can test the action by clicking on Run and selecting, for example, the Show All functionality and the Show Totals and click OK. As a result, we can take a look at the report, which shows us the latest statistic of the countries plus the totals information. In the last step, 
now we are going to delegate this action to the users that should be able to work with this action. So now this action is available through the delegate app and a user can choose the options that we just saw and run the action and so that's all that we have to configure to make this work. Thanks for watching and keep on scripting.